Welcome to the Temperate House here at Kew Gardens, the world's largest Victorian glass house. It covers just over 5,000 square metres. It covers five continents. So at the north end, we've got Asia. And then in the centre, we have uh, Australia, New Zealand, South America. And we've got island flora over one side. And down in the south end, we have Africa. The point of the glass house is to show off two things. One, uh, scientific collections here at Kew that the scientists and the herbarium people work on. And also the other one is to show off our beautiful flowering plants here for the general public and teach them about the work of Kew. So historically, back in the 1880s, 1890s, when it was first built, it was to house uh, this wondrous collection of temperate plants that the Victorians had gone out to collect. You come in through the east side, that is our main entrance of down Raffles Walk. When the big doors are open, you come into this massive, vast expanse of this uh, central section of the house. It is truly huge. And uh, the whole of the palm house can fit into the centre section with room to spare. That's how big this, this big room is. 16,000 panes of glass in the last restoration. So the, the plants inside are absolutely fantastic. Like I said, down in the, uh, the north end, we've got Asia. Fantastic collection of rhododendrons, these Varea rhododendrons, these montane rhododendrons, which won't grow outside um, because they're just a little bit tender. Uh, they like it sort of frost free. So um, they're flowering at the moment and it's looking really, really fantastic. Some of the, the white and the pinks and the reds and um, flowering bits down there. Then you move into the centre section. We've got this fantastic tree fern gully. Um, these are very old tree ferns, date, some of them dating back from the last restoration. Then the New Zealand section, this really lush tree forest um, section here with the waterfall. In the America section, we've got um, some really fantastic uh, Washingtonia just coming up there. That's really, since we planted that a couple of years ago, that is absolutely rocketing away there. Just past the uh, Jubea chiliensis here, we've got uh, Chinchona, which is the gin and tonic plant. So the, the quinine is in the, the tonic water. My favourite plant, they're all my favourite plant. I can't particularly put my finger on one. It has to be the um, Encephalatus woody eye, which is down in the south end. There's about 100, 110 left in the world. Uh, there's none, no females ever found, so it's this lonely single male plant. Uh, they're all clones of the same one. There's a couple left in Durban, and we've got one here. So it is Q's, and certainly the Temperate House's most valuable plant. When somebody comes in, I think now they go, oh wow, because it, you know, it's, it's, it is such a, a marvellous open space, really light and airy, and they are you know, absolutely amazed by it and uh, astounded by it.